When giving funny lines, should you be the person that's always delivering those lines? The answer to that question will be found in this Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom. A challenge I see for some presenters is that they think they should always be the ones delivering the funniest lines. My experience as a coach and a presenter myself is that I typically get the bigger laughs when someone else in my story says the funny line. Think about my story from yesterday when I talked about my boss reading the evaluations and he he told me there was one good one and it was, Mike has nice hair. That wasn't my line. That was some unknown entity, some person out there who wrote it and was desperate to give me some kind of positive feedback, so commented on my hair. Very funny line. It wasn't me. In one of my signature stories about my client, Patty, when she approached me at the chamber event to ask for help, she told me that she was nervous, stressed out, wasn't sleeping, just thinking about giving the speech. My response to her was, well, Patty, I don't under, I've heard about you. I, I know you get up and talk a lot. Why are you so afraid to speak? Her answer was, oh, I'm not afraid to speak. I just don't know when to shut up. That line always gets a laugh. Not my line. I'm just repeating what she said. And that's exactly how she said it, too. As you are uncovering humor in your stories, don't be the one that always has the funny line. Yes, you're the presenter and you're saying it, but give the funny line to other people in the stories. That's typically how life works anyway, especially if you have kids, pets, etc. They make They create all the laughs. This is another way of subtly letting the audience know that you're not up there trying to beat your chest or shine the light on you to talk about how great you are. You're willing to spread the wealth, if you will, of who gets credit. In this case, it's your characters that have great lines. Talk with you on our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom.